Ukraine and Russia face a summer of death, but neither side will gain an advantage. Ukraine and Russia are facing a summer of death, during which thousands of people on both sides are likely to die, but neither side is likely to achieve a decisive turning point. The front line becomes the site of a bloody chess match, with each side moving pieces to find an advantage without giving up ground elsewhere, writes the Wall Street Journal. As the publication writes, for Ukraine, after the unsuccessful counter-offensive last summer, the task at the moment is to hold the positions with the help of fresh Western weapons. At the same time, according to information from Ukrainian security agencies, Russia will most likely continue to apply its standard approach, sacrificing large numbers of troops for small gains. They don't have enough troops for a major offensive on Kharkov, one official said. Moving troops there would weaken other parts of the front. With the front line barely moving, both sides are trying to use deep strikes to gain an advantage ahead of winter, the newspaper writes. For example, Russia is striking power plants and other infrastructure in Ukraine, causing power outages in many cities. Russia is also striking Ukrainian defensive positions with gliding bombs. Meanwhile, Ukraine, with little chance of achieving more than holding the front line in the coming months, is aiming long-range missiles provided by the United States at Crimea. While Russia is still making some gains on the battlefield, the Ukrainians seem to be hitting and moving and holding their own quite strategically, said a senior US defense official. Russia has been able to make up for losses by recruiting personnel, but heavy casualties have made any gains slow and predictable, officials said. Russia's attempt to launch a large-scale offensive in the summer remains a thorny issue for Ukrainian strategists and their Western advisers. An intelligence official said Kyiv has good intelligence on the battle situation and could detect Russian forces massing for a potential attack. The Wall Street Journal writes, at the same time, according to the security official, Ukraine was able to generate enough forces to replace losses and some reserves, but to launch any major offensive, they would need several times more. <laughs> Мужики без хуйни, отвечаю. Без хуйни все будет окей. Бегом, бегом, марш! Да, пацаны, быстрее, я потом поднялся. Ваши за нас. Все, смотрите. Я так понял, Братан, окажу помощь в базаре. Только надо дойти, потому что сейчас ваши же нас разъебашат. Конечно, передавили нахуй и все. Тошнит. У вас? А тут вы сколько получаете? 